Hey there, it's Jesse. Uh, to talk about uh, all things uh, window cleaning. Uh, I've cleaned windows, as I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, for a long time. Probably, I'd say, uh, probably 20 years. Uh, best part of 20 years, and also ran my business for about uh, 12 to 15 years, mainly cleaning windows, and then also expanded into other services, which you can talk about in later uh, later videos, like roof restoration, roof cleaning, repoint, etc. But today, we're going to talk about how to clean a window using a professional window cleaning pole, uh, with also a professional window cleaning technique that I've honed for the last, well, also my business for the last 12, 15 years. So it's a technique you can take anywhere in the world. You can use it on shop fronts, you can use it on houses for high windows. So windows you can't reach without a pole or a ladder. So with the pole, literally, if you've got windows, like my, I'm tall, but I still often, I need a pole, a pole as well. But um, often I can't reach windows and it's just so convenient to just whiz around a house, to set the price, uh, perfect technique, in terms of scrubbing, in terms of using the squeegee, uh, with very little movements, minimize the movements and just get through as quick as you can. So in my previous videos, we talked about things like uh, uh, how to mix the right amount of soap in the bucket of water. So we'll go over that just really quickly. So we'll overlap there a little bit, uh, just to um, basically rehash and, and to make sure that it's uh, solidified in the mind. And uh, yeah, I'll show you that really quickly and then we'll get straight into the pole work. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask below. Uh, click, on the, click on the subscribe button as well to follow the videos. Heaps of information coming. I, I've learned so much how to make money, uh, about pricing, about customers, about how to solve problems, um, about uh, how to market sales. It's actually it's not difficult once you know. Um, you know, in terms of Google, Facebook, and all that stuff. Uh, once once you've got that down pat and basic technique, and you've got something to offer in terms of these skills, you can take it. Especially with the window cleaning, you can take it anywhere in the world. All right, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's get to the next part. Okay, so this is all you need. This is called an applicator. So you use that basically to uh, to wet up the window. You want to make sure you have the right amount of soap, as I mentioned in previous videos. So basically what you need, is it's best to have too much soap than too little. Uh, if you've got too little soap, you'll notice that the water begins to separate and it doesn't take the dirt off. Uh, properly and you'll notice often you'll get streaky bits and also the rubber will stick to the glass to quite an extent so if that happens you just need more soap to, basically it's, it acts as a lubricant so the squeegee just flies flows effortlessly uh, it's a bit of an art <laughs> um, so and also you need a squeegee as well as I said so this is a Sorbo brand this is a professional brand you can get uh, other brands at um, so Coles or Bunnings and places like that but this is the best one I've come across uh, it's also you put a, a, a nice squared off rubber here, so it's, so it's quite, um, so it's not actually, um, it's not blunt. So you want to make sure it is squared off. If it's rounded in the corners, you're gonna you're gonna have a fair few strips. So anyway, so when we mix the soap, I do it like so. I used to just pour the soap in the bucket and then use the applicator basically to mix it in. But that's difficult and slow, and the soap gets stuck to the bottom of the bucket. So you want to start off with putting a line like so, on the applicator. Hopefully you can see that. And then a line on the other side. What you do is you just push it into the, into the water. Otherwise, if you put it into the bottom of the bucket and you mix it, as, again, it'll get stuck. So just like so, so you're pushing it in, so you're wringing it out, and you're also making sure that, you, that you're spreading it throughout the applicator, which is really important. Because if you've got soap on only a couple of parts, obviously you know you're not going to put, you may not put enough soap on the glass. So, and then you mix it in, make sure it's mixed in properly. And again, you would know if you've got the right amount of soap because you'll see it in the glass. There's plenty of soap on the glass. Uh, sometimes you get a little bit too much. That's not a bad thing. It just means you might drop your squeegee or, or drop the pole. It might be a bit slippery in your hands. So basically, yeah, we should be ready to go. Again, if the water starts to separate, you just need more soap. So again, more, more, better to have more than less. All right, now I'll show you the basic polling technique. Um, uh, yeah, ba basically, you've got to give the window a good hard scrub uh, and, and make sure that when you do scrub it, you, you drop about, you stop about that far short of the, of the top frame. And the reason for that is if you push into the frame, you squeeze it off, you're going to get dribble marks. So stop about that far short. 
Okay, another thing, another thing I forgot to mention is that this applicator, it's, it's not the newest, newer the better which means that it's going to absorb more water hold on, and hold on to more water so you don't need to go back to dunk it into the bucket so much um, if you've got something like the older it gets uh, basically just means there's more uh, going back and forth between window and the bucket because it doesn't hold as much water so uh, so newer the better so anyway so we start off by wetting the glass and make sure when you wet it it's okay, we're outside, so if it's dripping a bit, that's that's actually better because you want more water on the applicator than on the inside. Uh, just so you, there's, usually usually the outside is dirtier than the inside. Uh, and make sure you give it a good hard scrub, I'd say two or three times over to make sure you got all the little bits, and then I'll show you the technique. All right, the next step, it's called, I like to call it cutting the glass. It just means you don't need to actually use a rag, a blue microfiber rag, to wipe the tops to prevent dribble marks. So you actually stop that action, you take an action out of the process, so you can whiz around quicker, uh, like so. Also, another thing, when I tap, I make sure that the water is running away from the dry side because if you don't tap when you come down it's likely to drop onto the dry side and you're going to have dribbles. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you're not sure feel free to leave a comment I'm more than happy to answer and help you out. Uh, but also it's very important when you come down you want to angle the squeegee down to the dry side. It might be a bit hard, it might be a bit of reflection there. So basically if the dry side's on this side you want to angle it down to the dry side. When you do that you don't get a streak. Not one streak, I'm not kidding. So you can whiz around these houses or, or, or shop fronts and with not one dribble, not one streak, and just bam, like so. And that's actually done, except for the bottom part at the end. I'll quickly finish it off anyway and, and, and remind you of the technique that I taught you in the previous video. But that's that's pretty much it. So usually, as you probably saw in the previous videos, you use a blue microfiber to, to go across the top. You don't need to do that, that's finished. Except, I'll just move down a little bit, the bottom frame, you always have a, a white microfiber cloth to, to wipe the bottom. I'll get that just really quickly. So a mic wipe, wiper, it's basically, it's an, old, it's an old nappy basically, to wipe the silk. Just like so, and that's it. So what I would recommend, and, and, and you sort of might just adjust your technique to suit yourself a little bit here and there, is you might have about sometimes six, seven, eight windows, whatever, four windows in a row, high windows. You wet them all up, and it depends on the wind as well. If it's dry, if it's, there's sun on them as well, you might only wet up two. If, there's, if it's a dry environment, dry climate, and the sun's on them. But if, if it's quite humid and you're in the shade, you can wet up six, seven, or eight, whatever windows, and you can wet them all up, come back, put the squeegee on the pole, and then use that te exact technique and you can whiz through those windows like that. So probably with eight or so windows, you could probably finish those in, in, in a minute um, and you can fly through it. So with the right technique, and there's always little tips and hints that, that help out, uh, but feel free to, to leave a comment, ask any questions, I'm more than happy to help. I love helping people with their businesses or if, you, if you're trying to clean windows at home, fantastic. Um, more than happy to help anybody. Uh, click on subscribe. I'd love for you to follow me. I've got so much to offer. I've been in business for 10, 15 years. Um, I've got. So, I'm actually really excited about it. I can't wait to do to, to teach you roofing, pressure cleaning, how, you know, how, how to basically uh, clean a roof using a harness, repoint, rebed, um, choosing the right machinery, choosing the right equipment, what brand. Uh, you've got uh, Bernalini pump for the pressure washer, which is the best. You've got a Honda engine as an example. So I definitely will get into that in the, in the later videos. Uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, thanks so much for watching. 
Um, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe. That'd be fantastic. All right, see you next time. Cheers, guys.